Hi everybody, I'm Monika Knuckles and I'm going to explain to you how you can post your um, APA reference citations in correct APA format onto the very finicky blackboard. This is a style tag, a DIV, which is like a container, everything, it's like the, the, the clubhouse, the front and back door of the clubhouse. All the activity that's going on is in between there. And then the span tag is going to give you your line spacing. So what you're going to do is insert your citations in between the opening and closing tags, the style, the DIV, and the span. But you really don't have to know all of that jargon to do this. I tried to make it really simple once I figured out the code that's going to work for us. And you and I have it here. All you have to do is copy and paste this exact code. And in the areas where you see it says paste reference here, you're going to just paste your citation in there. And you can do it as many times. I only put three here, but if you need more, then just, just copy this whole top line here and the paste, paste here, and then you're going to just paste it again down at the bottom and just keep going for as many of them you need. So everything's in there. All of the margins, all of that is already there. All you have to do is paste your reference uh, citation in there. So here's the instructions really quick. You just type your citation or your post and post them from Word into Notepad because Notepad will take out all the formatting that Word has that causes problems in Blackboard. So just use Notepad. It's, if you have Windows, it's on there. There's another one called Notepad++. Um, plus plus. Just Google it. It's free and it's another good one. But so the second thing is go to your post editor and open the HTML editing box, which I'm going to do so I can show you. I have one already opened up. Let me close this out. So this is an old, from a previous previous class, it's a discussion, and they had the um, edit enabled, so which was great because I was able to fool around in here and try to figure out how to make this code work. As you can see, I have posted a few of the... Uh, citations in here and they're all nicely lined up double spaced indented correctly but what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to do that so I've got the editing box already um, selected and I'm going to make it bigger so we can all see it all and you want to come down to the very bottom of your text the last place that you have in here I, th I think I had to put a reference Okay, yeah, here they go. So these are in here already. I'm not going to take them out. I'm just going to come down here and put them in again so you can see the actual process of doing it. So I put my cursor over to the left margin. Then I'm going to come up to the editing um, icons and the very last line, there you'll find the HTML and the CSS box. CSS, that's another video. Okay, but the HTML is what you want to click. It's going to open up an HTML box. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and where the cursor is blinking here at the end of that DIV tag, we're going to make some space here for what we're going to post there. Now, I'm going to go back to my notepad, which I have already done some of these citations already. So I just took the same code and took and where I had paste uh, reference here. I went ahead and put in some references. This one is Clark and Mayer, e-learning and the science of instruction. So I only have like three here. So what I'm going to do is once you get your um, citations in there, if it's one or how many ever you want, then you're going to copy them. Oh, let me remember my, this DIV tag. You, you don't want to put that behind each and every one of these. You just need the one at the bottom. So you're going to have a span come over here where it says Jossie Bass, Pfeiffer. So each line will end with a closing span tag and a closing P tag, which stands for paragraph. And then you're going to not, you're not going to put a DIV there. You're only going to put it at the very end of all of your citations. So if you just have one, that will be the end of that one. But I've got three here, so here we go. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to close that out. Then I'm going to come back to my editing box and down here where that cursor is blinking and there's space, I'm just going to paste that code 
Okay. Now I'm going to hit the update button. And now I should be saying voila here. And I am. So here we have another set of those same um, citations, but they're all nicely done and lined up the same way. Now I can just go in and do whatever. If I wanted to change that font now, or, or you know, then I could do that without um, dis disrupting the flow of that. So back to my notepad. What I'm going to do is attach this to the emails that I'm sending you, and you can have that code in there. You can play around with it. I'm going to tell you one, a couple more little things. Up here where I have, um, this is the style for the margin. That's going to be zero because it's going to go all the way over to the left of that page. Line height. That's actually what's making you have the double space. So I've got 200. A single space line is going to be about 100. Well, it's usually about 110 to make the single space nice and neat. So I've got 200 to make it a double space. If you took it down to like 50, then you would have sentences where the they were kind of overlapping. They would be so tightly together. So that's a number you can play with. And the indent is at 4 EM. That's another um, graphic measurement. So that's a, that's approximately five. If you know if you were spacing over five. So I've got my padding in there. Four EM and four EM. And the indent here is actually four EM. So those are numbers that you can play with if you want a, a larger indent, a smaller indent. But you would have to just you know play around with those and test them out to see what uh, how that's going to work for you. So I hope that's been really helpful for you because I know it's been plaguing me <laughs> for a little bit. And if you need any help, just give me a buzz. And if I can, I'd be glad to. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.